My name is Bridget, and in today's video we are doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking to you guys about my animals, all about my animals. In case you're new here, in case you didn't know, we have three dogs and two cats. So I just wanted to talk about them because they are not just animals and pets, they're family. So I wanted to properly introduce you to all of them. And I'm going to introduce y'all to them in the order that we got them. So, the first animal is Kratos. Come here. This is Kratos. Say hi, Kratos. He's a male. His name is Kratos. Yeah. Had him about six years. A friend of mine called and said that one of her neighbors was giving away puppies and if I could take one, I should because if I didn't, they were all going to go to pound or I just didn't want that. So, Kratos, come here. Hey, baby. Can I see him? This is my baby. He's getting gray hair and he's fat. We had him um, neutered a while back, so he's a little fat from that. But he's not cranky anymore, look. This is my son Aiden's dog, and Justin and Ethan's dog, he's the, you know, the dog. So, there's our first animal. I just couldn't stand seeing him going to the pound, and he was so cute, guys. When I got him, he fit in the palm of my hand. Um, I will try to find a picture of when I first got him, because I have some, and I will try to put it in here. But next animal is Binksy, our kitty. Oh, he's not happy. <laughs> come here, come here, Binksy. Don't show your face. Here, you show him to the camera, and then I'll just talk about him. <laughs> this is Binks. He's not happy today. This is Thackeray Binks. He's our kitty. Um, he was, oh, okay, okay. He doesn't want me. Okay, well, I'll just talk about him. He showed up one night. The beard was on the porch. And he spilt the beard, drink, drank it, come inside, and beat up the dog. And that was it. We only had uh, Kratos at the time. Yeah. So, anyways, he beat up the dog and just, that was all she wrote. He never left again, so. He's my spirit animal. He is the beard spirit animal. He is the beard's cat. The beard absolutely loves him. Um, we took him to the vet because, you know, being a responsible pet owner is always a plus. But we took him to the vet. We got him flea medicine and we got him neutered or whatever. And that's the story of Thackeray Bink. We named him Thackeray Binks. Bonus points for anybody who can tell me where that came from. Anyways, um, he has a hernia, guys. I'm very, very sad, so we might get it fixed if we can afford it. Um, it's not really bothering him right now. The vet said only if it bothered him, but guys, he has a big hernia on his tummy. He's had it since we got him. Yeah, he's had it since we got him. It hasn't started bothering him, but we might get it fixed just in case. But guys, he is a sweet cat. He doesn't bother anybody. He's pretty chill. You know, laid back, sleeps a lot because he's fat and fixed and lazy house cat now. But that is Binksy, uh, Rusty. Can we have Rusty? We have animals all throughout this house, guys, so, you know. Rusty is my mom's dog. We got him from a trading journal because we look. The story behind this dog. Look, come here, Rusty. Come here, it's okay. Can I show the world, Rusty? Look, look. Oh, God, he's so hyper. Oh. We went to three different states. Four, three, four. Four different states looking for my mom. Ow! God. For my mom. This, this, this is rusty. My mom a chihuahua because she had a chihuahua for 18 years, maybe. Around about 20 years. Like, this dog was, like, probably the oldest living dog in the world. But anyways, her name was Peanut and she passed away. Uh, right around Christmas time. Christmas Eve. No, it wasn't. Uh huh? Well, anyways, she died right around Christmas time. So, my mom was very sad. And, oh, she wanted a small dog. Oh, it must be. It's okay. She wanted a chihuahua, but we couldn't find her one. So we looked at the trading journal, we went to animal shelters, we went to different states, we went to different counties. We looked for months for her a dog. And we finally found her rusty. We 
the opposite of the dog she had, because her dog was chill, because it was pretty, pretty old and black and a little female chihuahua. But so then we got Rusty, full of energy, hyper, yappy, loud, crazy. Let me tell you, this dog, the kitten went back that way. But anyways, so we got her Rusty. I love Rusty. He's, you know, a turd. No, Sophie. Okay. Anyways, so that's the story of Rusty. We took forever to find her that dog. And this, you know, she's happy. He's happy. He's got a good life. He did get fixed. I, hope, I, hope, I wish that would have calmed him down, but it didn't. We'll see. Maybe with some age and maturity, he'll calm down. But anyways, on to Sophie. Sophie! He's my Sophie. This is my baby. She has been spayed. She is my baby girl. Um, we got her next. The beard called me one day because he stopped at a convenience store close to our house to get her. Come here. And, um, well, not to get her, but he stopped at a convenience store close to my our house to pick something up on the way home from work or get gas or something. And he called me and he's like, can we have a dog? And he sent me a picture and I'm like, yeah, love at first sight. So, um, this is my baby guys in case y'all can't tell. But, um. Did you tell him why I asked if you could have a dog? Because we already had. No, what, what happened with her? I'm getting ready to tell him. Oh, okay. So, what happened was, her and I guess it was her brother, because the beard said he saw brother part, um, got thrown out of a moving vehicle. Why they would throw this pretty gorgeous little girl out, I don't know, or her brother, but she came right up to him, she's like, hey, pet me, love me, you're mine, you know, you're my human, I don't know you, but you look like a cool human. The beard chased her brother for like half a mile in work boots. Still couldn't catch him because he went under a fence and he couldn't catch him. Come here, baby. But so he brought her home and it was love at first sight for me and for her. Her's my baby. You guys, nope, we're not gonna do that on TV on YouTube. Nope, we're not gonna clean ourselves right now. But anyways, this that was the story of Sophie. I said, you know, she could get hit, it's a busy road, I don't want anything to happen to her, and I fell in love with that picture. You guys, I do have a video up of when we first got her because we had to go and get a crate and some other supplies. But I will link that down below if you guys want to watch the video of when we first got her so you can see how tiny she is. But yeah, she's been fixed too. All of our animals except for our kitten has been fixed because... She's too young. One, we just got her, like literally. And two, she's too young. But I do have a vet visit scheduled for her to get her first set of shots and to get everything done. But anyways, this is Sophie. She she's pretty chill. She she likes to run. If she gets outside she runs and we can't catch her. But hopefully we'll be getting the house with Lansing so she can just run all she wants. She sleeps in the living room. My dog is full, y'all. She will not sleep unless the TV is on. I have to put it on the TV every single night or she'll cry. Like, literally, so my TV stays on because she she's likes full. the news. Yeah, she likes the news, and she likes cartoons. And then every morning when I get up to take the boys to school, I let her outside, and... She just ate whatever fell out of that lamp. <coughs> and it's a dog for you. But this is my baby girl. Oh, and then... Our last, but not least. This is our kitten that we just got. Coraline! Ready to catch you. Extra bonus points if you guys can tell me about Coraline. I'm walking into Coraline. Anyway, this is our kitten. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Oh, these cats don't like me. This is Coraline. She's a kitty. She's, I guess, mine too. Feisty. And she runs. She ran away. <laughs> I'm proud of her, babe. So that she was busy doing kitten stuff. Um, our neighbors have some stray cats and had a lot of kittens and we saw her and we fell in love with her so it's we decided to get her. Binks's kin. Probably Binks's kin because <coughs> Binks was a stray kid in our house. But Gigi's scored on. You want to just hold her up to the camera and show her? Oh. Okay. You guys look. Look how sweet. Say hi. Too close. There Say you go. Hi. <laughs> yeah. 
like I said, we've got her vet visit scheduled. You guys, she was super shy. She slept in our room for the first couple of days, but she's doing so good she now. with me. Yeah, she's the beard's, uh, she sleeps with the beard on his chest or cuddled up to him, you know. She's already spoilt. But, on a bonus note, one of my friends came over and took one of her, her brother. Yeah, her brother. Uh-oh. About to be a kitty dog fight. Anyways, we have to kind of keep the animals separated because they all have different personalities. We live in a... Not small, but we're, not big enough for everybody. We're losing a freaking game of Jumanji. Yes, we're losing a game of Jumanji because in our house we have <coughs> me, the beard, three dogs, two cats, three kids, and sometimes a nanny when she stays with us. But anyways, we're actually thinking about getting a fish tank maybe. And, and mice. Fish. And mice, because I love mice. But anyways, we are losing a game of Jumanji in our house, you guys. This is why I'm constantly cleaning. The battle is never, ever, ever, ever finished. Yeah. <sighs> the Binks is just like staring off in the space because he's a fat, lazy house cat. But anyway, those are our animals. Um, all of them are fixed, guys. I just want to say, closing this video, please be a responsible pet owner. Please spay and neuter and get their shots and get them taken care of by the vet. There are programs out there that will help you if you don't have the money. But I'm a big advocate of saving animals and spaying and neutering because one cat getting, is it a female cat? Getting oh, one, one cat, I don't remember if it's female or male, probably female, but getting one cat fixed, spayed, so female. Getting one cat fixed will save over 420,000 lives from being put in shelters or being killed or whatever. So please spay and neuter your pets, guys. These are all of our animals. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave it a thumbs up the if beard. you did. The beard. Yes, we are big animal lovers. Um, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a ton. I look forward to hearing all of y'all's comments, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.